Hey everybody, how you doing? UPS PVD Dave here. Alright, UPS Peak Season PVD Week 1 in the books. I had a great week. Weather-wise, it was just absolutely beautiful every day. A little cool some mornings, but hey, it is November. But uh, white clouds and blue skies as far as the eye could see. I was the only PVD that worked every day last week. Uh, Friday they brought a guy in for orientation. Uh, I want to thank my hub for bringing me in and giving me the hours. Of course, they were easing the load on a specific driver, but they brought me in earlier than they had to. Thank you very much. You know, I am a third year returner PVD, the longest tenured veteran PVD at my hub. So uh, nice to know they're taking care of me. Package load in the town Nevada where I live uh, wasn't heavy enough for me to run Nevada So they put me on a rural route with a bunch of rural stops and the entire town of Colo Which is about nine miles to the east of Nevada, which makes Colo roughly 17 miles from Ames uh, Given the fact that I have at least two trips a day, man, I racked up the mileage on Speedwagon the Ames Hub has a new dispatcher. He just literally started a couple weeks ago, and he's uh, learning the market and everything, and we were bullshitting one day, and he had indicated that he thought that he was going to put me on this rural route in Colo for the entire peak season and not have me run Nevada as in years past. I indicated to him that I really didn't want to run the rural route the entire peak season. Uh, right now, the gravel roads in Iowa are in spectacular condition because, well, we have no rain this year. But uh, I don't want to be running them muddy and snowy and all that and just don't want to put Speedwagon through that. He's got over 200,000 miles. Gravel is just hard on a vehicle. Then a little while later, he had uh, mentioned that again. And again, I said, uh, you know, I just, I really don't want to do that. And then talking with uh, the area driver manager, he said, no. And he goes, uh, he goes, the, the, the regular guys want the rural routes because of the miles, you know. And he goes, but they, they don't like the town stuff. And I said, hey, I'll run Colo if that's what you want, but I'd really rather run Nevada. And uh, the driver manager said, you're going to run Nevada. We're going to do it the same way we did last year. The new uh, dispatcher needs to learn the market. Needs to know the the package flow he goes the you guys in nevada work great together including that active duty army soldier that helped us out in nevada last year he's coming back so we're just going to get back into our regular groove the new dispatcher did seem quite impressed when i told him some of the numbers that i had generated last year got all my packages delivered each day just under eight hours had roughly seven hours each day. Mileage clocked in at 565. Man, that just shattered every record I ever had because usually my mileage was, you know, 50 to 80 in the years past. Just, you know, drive around in circles in town. But that rural route, wow, it just really added to mileage. Thursday was my heavy day at 137 miles. I don't know if I confirmed it, but I am using my phone, used their phone on Monday, and then got mine registered, and I do, you do get $5 per day for using your own phone, and uh, wow, what a difference. Of course, I've got a newer five-month-old uh, Galaxy S21, and each finger press on the app is literally two to three seconds faster than the phone <laughs> that they gave me. Now, that's not going to add up to anything even over an eight-hour or ten-hour day, but it's nice when you press uh, a button on the phone. It happens. Had a couple dog issues out in the rural route. You know, I'd pull up into a driveway of a farm and one or two dogs would just come running out, you know, full bore, barking their heads off. But I just kind of rolled my window down a little bit and, you know, you can kind of judge an animal. Well, I can. And, you know, you can tell if they're smiling or if they're not. <laughs> so I'd let them sniff my hand and go, hey, you guys, good boys and girls, and everybody wagging and doing the little circle dance, you know, showing off for me and all that. And so then I'd get out and a couple times the people would come out and go, they're okay, they're okay. I had one of them that uh, jumped into Speedwagon. I think he wanted to go for a road trip. Made a comment to someone there on a farm, and I said, oh, I don't have any doggy biscuits. And they laugh, and they go, yeah, the, you, the regular guy usually brings biscuits. Here's the thing. I really don't recommend that you uh, carry that. You know, I do, and I have, especially with my lawn mowing business. You meet a lot of animals out there and about. Here's the thing. Only ever give a treat to a dog with the owner's permission. Don't do it on your own. Uh, you don't know what the dog might be allergic to. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that. So, uh, you know, if you carry treats for the animals, only give them with the owner's explicit permission. All right, let's wrap this up. My heaviest package count was around 112 packages with uh, 90, 95 stops. Otherwise, it was running around 75 stops with around 100 packages. Not too bad, you know, I mean, for a newbie, that's going to be 10 hours. You know, I know what I'm doing. I was cranking it off in under eight hours. 
like I said, uh, about seven hours a day. I may I had 36 and a half hours. That gave me 768 bucks a pay. 565 mileage at 0.56 cents is 316 bucks for a gross of 1,084. Very good week. Very good week. Kind of feeling it in the legs. I mean, it's always kind of surprising how much muscle and muscles that you didn't know you had just climbing in and out of your vehicle a couple hundred times a day. You know, in real life, you might do it, what, four or five times a day, 10 maybe at the most. Yeah, I'm feeling it just a little bit, but it feels good. I am working on how I stage and load my packages. That will be the next video up probably around Sunday, Sunday evening. Look for it. All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself. Thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time.